Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you from the edge of a cornfield once again. And I have a big question for you. And the big question is as follows. Is modern American monoculture agriculture sustainable? Can it even survive as we know it? Uh, we're living in a world in which we're facing a lot of different change in climates due to change in the jet streams, uh, other factors. Uh, some of us attribute to Grand Solar Minimum, some people worried about global warming, whatever the case is. Changes are coming. Uh, the fact is that uh, the last century typified some of the most stable weather we've had in many millennia. But modern uh, industrial scale agriculture really needs stability in temperatures and climate. That stability uh, may be challenged in America and worldwide. So. Uh, it may be harder and harder to maintain the kind of agriculture we've been growing. Uh, and another thing is, you know, it just, this monoculture stuff requires a lot of stability. And we see a lot of crop losses in this country now because of issues with that. Furthermore, there are other issues with this modern agriculture. What's it doing to us? Now look, I grew up on a farm. I spent 50 of my 59 years in farm country, I do farm. Um, I don't farm uh, monoculture agriculture though. I do market garden farming, worm farming, and I do um, aquaponics. And uh, you know, I love farming. I love farm people. They are really good people. But the the problem is that the, a lot of things that we do in these practices are having huge impacts in the world. Uh, the uh, glyphosate used in growing a lot of these crops appears to have effects on multi-generational effects on animals that could cause us some unsustainability problems. We're already seen it in worm farms. I mentioned that in a previous video. Also, um, the uh, worst thing is what's happening to our insects. We're having an insect apocalypse, and that comes from the use of nicanoid uh, pesticides, and it's killing bees. Everybody's aware of the bees. Well, you know. Typically a windshield like mine would be covered with bugs. It's not this time of the year. What happens? I'm used to seeing bugs all over my windshield. They're not as many. I got some little flies little uh, flying around me right now. We used to call lucky bees. But uh, the overall the insect population is not what it was. And uh, if you don't have the pollinators, how do you grow food? Is our agriculture committing suicide by killing off the pollinators that needs to survive, that we need to survive? And uh, all the uh, nitrates and all the results from the runoff from the farms is going down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico. And this will happen in other places where we have large scale and industrial scale uh, modern monoculture agriculture. So, what's happening with that? Uh, the Gulf of Mexico has a huge dead zone in it, and this may be the worst year of all. It's killing a lot of fish in the Gulf of Mexico and it's making the beaches in hospital in uh, Mississippi and right now Mississippi they closed all the beaches prior to Hurricane Barry coming in so and that's going to just make things worse so what happens I mean uh, agriculture is actually killing industries other than itself it's killing the fishing industry it's killing tourism industry it's uh, having uh, serious negative effects on other things we need to find new ways to grow things. Now I'm here to tell you that we can feed half the world just from our lawns in North America. I mentioned that also in other videos. That 42 to 47 million acres you put it in the uh, uh, growing and you don't have to have the high tech and all the chemicals. If you grow like the vase family in Pasadena, California, you can literally feed a couple billion people off that land. Uh, now the, all that said, the, uh, the I'm not anti-tech. Some people misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm have issues with the way we're employing technology. For example, this is a what we call an annual crop. You have to uh, plant it you have to, uh, every year, grow it, then you have to take all this stuff down, uh, and then they tear the soil up before they replant it each year. And so you're running tractors back and forth across this soil every year. Uh, a lot of the soil is eroded, and we're mining our soil, and it's washing away, which is also a challenge to the sustainability. And uh, it takes a lot of processing, and, and, and every foot of this ground is covered by tractors planting, harvesting, uh, spraying multiple times each year. What if you could engineer genetically a crop that would actually grow a pre annual 
uh, up to a certain height and they have annual sheets to come out that you just cut the tops off of. Now that would be a good application of genetic engineering. I'm not against genetic engineering per se, I'm just against, uh, think, say, using it to put pesticides inside the very fiber, uh, fiber of the corn where you can't wash it out is an issue. Uh, the use of glyphosate is an issue. Yeah, to, to grow this way they need something, but uh, maybe we're going to have to find other ways. And Mother Nature and our actions may leave us no choice. Without the pollinators, how are we going to continue? Really. Read up on what Einstein said about bees and how vital they were to our survival. Without pollinators, what do we do? Uh, if we're killing oceans like the Gulf of Mexico, what do we do? Um, Clearly, we need to rethink where we're at and how to do this. Again, the farmer is uh, really the backbone of this country. A lot of people don't give them credit. But we've got to find other approaches to, to go forward. And uh, given the sensitivities that we're going to find with this modern monomethyl, uh, monomethyl, <laughs> with the modern uh, monoculture agriculture, uh, they may have no choice. The var variances in climate and other things. Uh, there could be problems. If the grid goes down, the power grid goes down, these guys can't get this seed. This seed is a genetically modified seed they have to get from a corporation. They've got to get it from Montesano, from Bayer who bought them out, or other companies like that. They're not permitted to save it, to grow it. And it takes a lot of fuel to grow things this way. The grid down, this agriculture will not even exist. It will be gone. So, uh, because of the potential for a power grid to go down, because of climate, environmental uh, impacts, and uh, what we may be doing to our pollinators. It's quite possible that not only is uh, modern monoculture, agriculture not sustainable, it may just die. We could one day see the end of it. Yeah, it is not too evident right here, me standing next to this uh, prodigious uh, cornfield, but uh, it's gonna have issues. I think probably bright minds will find ways to, to work around some of that, and uh, that's my hope. But uh, it definitely presents challenges. We have a lot of challenges, and the way to deal with challenges is to start to deal with them before they get too bad. The time to deal with challenges is now. So uh, my, my uh, recommendation is to uh, prepare yourself personally. If you're a farmer, start thinking about what can I do, game it in your head. Uh, what can I do down the road? How can I work around this? How can I develop a more sustainable future? Uh, if you're a, a market gardener like myself, uh, a smaller scale farmer, then you've got a lot of ideas probably how you can go about these things. Uh, if you're not growing your own food, start growing your own food. And you can buy the seeds from Tree Leaf Market below uh, to, to make your farm truly sustainable. Buy heirloom seeds from them and to recycle your waste so you don't have to buy fertilizers and all those things. Buy worms. I sell worms. You can make your own compost. Worm tea. I got a videos on worm tea. So, uh, and I sell worms. Greengregs.com below. And uh, look, since the prices of food are expected to shoot way up right now, is a great time to buy your prepping supplies. Uh, check my patient supply below. And again, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please click the update notification bell for future updates and thank you for watching.